What the fuck is up, you motherfuckers? You're listening to the Foul Mouth Al Show. This is here on from Battlecross. Fuck you. Uh, hey, this is Joel from Killswitch Engage. You're listening to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Rock and roll. Hello. This is Skinny Dick Jones. I'm here today to talk about beating your kids. Please stop beating your kids. If you don't beat your kids, that's great. Please keep up the good work. But for those of you who beat your kids, please knock it off. The shit makes me so angry. If I hear that you beat your kids, I'm, I'm going to come over there and put my foot up your ass. This is Skinny Jones with another Foul Mouth Owl public service message. Hey, this is Brent from Lowdown. So I was balls deep in this bitch. She told me to hurry the hell up so she can go listen to the Foul Mouth Owl show. You should do the same. Please subscribe to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. We've made it so easy. I know you like it hard, but now it's fast and easy like me. So bring that hard on over and I'll show you how easy it is. Just go to our Facebook page. That's it. Now click the welcome link. Oh yeah, right there. Now gently put your email in and click subscribe. Oh baby, click it. Click it. Yeah, that's it. Click it. Click it now. Click it hard. Oh, 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 baby. See you next time at foulmouthowl.com. Welcome to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Yeah! What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Fucking Sausage Fest down here tonight. Welcome to the Sausage Fest at the Foul Mouth Owl Show. <laughs> no, I'm always here. I'm always up for one. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So <clears throat> we're here tonight for the re- year-end wrap-up show. Got a handful of things to discuss. Some special guests. Some people quietly sitting in the corner, drinking beer. <laughs> um, Awake at Last is sort of here. Yeah. Ashley Smack is not here. Where the hell is Ashley Where's Smack? Where's Ashley? I don't know. We'll talk about that in a little while. Booker T. Chris Keller from Chris Keller Photography is here. Yeah! And um, we're here with uh, Aaron, who's, who's a roadie for... For Wake at Last. <laughs> Wake at Last. <laughs> Come on, Aaron, say hey. Wake at Last. And various other projects. Whatever Stephen has you carry for that day, right? Yeah. And uh, Brian, <laughs> who is here with Mark today, who's awful quiet. And, of course, our very first uh, unofficial producer, <laughs> Baby Ian's here. Today. Yeah! So what's happening with um, Ashley Smack? Why ain't she here? I don't know. Um, well, she doesn't want her boyfriend to know that she's doing this show, so he came into town, and she can't let him know, so she had to cancel on us. That's a shame, too. It is a damn shame. She had some great stories to tell. <clears throat> We hadn't talked to her in quite a while, so she has um, told me some stories about. She just went on, signed up for one of these dating sites, oh, God. and um, apparently she went on. She got hooked up with a guy, and she went to go meet him. And right before she went to meet him, she decided to check his profile out one more time, and uh, he was like five foot two. On his profile, but when she met him, he was really four foot eight. <laughs> no, that's why you text me and said she's going on a date with a midget. That I wasn't. Like, she did. Uh, she did. Yeah. She told me afterwards. She didn't. She didn't realize it until you know. She thought he was just a short guy, five two. That's awful short. And then she said he was really five, four eight. Oh God. I said, did you have sex with him? I said, his, his dick had to look huge compared to his little legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How a little dude like that only has to look up. Shit, put that pussy in your face. <laughs> she said she only got drunk enough to make out with him, so I don't know. It was probably all a lie anyway. I don't know. I wonder if he had a little tongue. <laughs> I'm still pretty drunk. Ashley Smack. Yeah. <laughs> she was only drunk enough to make out with him. <laughs> She's not that tall, though, so maybe he just didn't have the high far to climb. Yeah, I guess now. There's things to grab on to pull yourself up to. <laughs> Awake at last. Steven's here. How do you pronounce your last name, dude? Chickaloni. Chickaloni. We thought it was Siglioni. <laughs> We're over here doing mafia shit about you. 
Yeah, that's, what, that's what they call me anyway. We got this new thing where we call everybody Mug, and I'm Mug Sigalione. So there you go. There you go. So nobody gets my name right anyway. <laughs> we were going to have some uh, Godfather music playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no shit. You got that loaf of bread. Where's the Godfather music, Squig? You're producing this episode. What's happening? I don't know. Squig is producing this episode. Yeah. Yeah, Ian, he's taking your shit and he's slamming it. <laughs> hey, Steven, you remember me at all? No. Nah. Locks kid. Are you? Oh, yeah, shit, yeah, we, we grew up like, like as kids, you know what I mean? But I haven't seen you in years. Yeah, it has been a while. Yeah. Did you guys yeah. used to jerk off together when yeah, you were little? Play, yeah, did used you, to watch Power Rangers and jerk off together. That's did you play swords? <laughs> See, Steven's honest. Tell, tell us about it there, Ian. I didn't jack off that age. We were, we were young kids. We put off. Our crazy. parents like, grew up together. I thought so. You know what I mean? But it's been a couple years. I, I would have never realized as you. I saw your sister not too long ago, but I would have never oh, guessed shit. that you were that Ian. So. Oh, That's crazy. Baby Ian. Baby Ian. It's Delaware. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah. Everybody knows everybody. So, Steve, what's going on with Awake at Last, man? Uh, well, we finally, uh, Got the new CD back. It's called uh, Mansion of Memories. It's a uh, five-song EP. We uh, recorded with Evan Myers. He's from up in PA. Uh, we've been working on it since September, so it's actually you know great that we finally got it back. It's only been a quarter of a year, but uh, yeah, it just got released on uh, Christmas Day. It's up on Bandcamp. Uh, you can find the link on our Facebook. But uh, other than that, uh, we hit the studio in January for our new single. We just finished up, and. Uh, Hopefully shoot a music video for that in February. Very cool. Let's uh let's see here. We got um the song you mentioned earlier, Mansion of Memories. Play a quick clip on that. All right, so who's writing the uh, music? What's the process with you guys now? Well, um, most of the CD was actually written um, before the member changes. Uh, as most people you know that are following us, uh, Brian Mills was picked up shortly after we got back from the California tour in June, and uh, I joined shortly after um, in September when uh, Estelle left. Estelle is now living in Vegas. But um, we've only written one song since then, and uh, that's the one we're going back to uh, record this month, or this coming month. But, um, I mean, most of the stuff was written back when Jesse was in there. Uh, Mansion of Memories was actually probably the main song in the set when we went to the California tour. So, as far as writing goes, we've only done one song. Really? But, yeah. It's pretty cool, though. Um I'm really excited for the new stuff. It's uh, it's a lot like the new CD. You can definitely change or hear the changes from the first EP to the new EP, and uh, it's kind of how the new stuff's going to be. Lots of changes. Cool. So you had to learn a lot of the music that they already had written. Yeah. Put the, something together that went along with that. Did you have a lot of creative freedom, or did they pretty much have have it down what they wanted? Or well, the way it worked, um, I kind of started filling in for shows before Estelle ever left, and. Uh, I, I knew the gist of the songs from being on tour with it. You know, I heard the songs every night for a month. But, uh, yeah, it was kind of, like, squeezed into a short period of time, so I really just played what uh, Estelle was playing and Mike was playing. Um, the new song, I, I've, of course, got to write my own parts for, but as far as the old stuff goes, I'm pretty much just playing everything Estelle was. I got to get in the studio when he left and finish the CD, so that was pretty cool, too, being a part of that. So is he on the CD at all, or no? Uh, yeah, the, uh, the intro... And uh, the second song, we're Estel. You guys got like this hodgepodge going on with all these band. It's like, let's take all the band members and fucking shake them up and see what we come up with. Because you got another project going now with uh, uh, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse Keem. Who's the old drummer. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, what's that project called? That project is uh, Armistice. I was actually... Oh, that's for Armistice. Yeah, on the okay. Final Out Thou show a couple yeah, months yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, yep. Yeah, um, you know, we were playing shows not too long ago, and uh, the drummer, he was in high school still. He's senior year, so he had to kind of bog out. So I got a hold of Jesse about two weeks ago and asked him what he was doing musically, and he said nothing, you know, he's just kind of working. So uh, he's actually in the process of learning our songs right now. We're kind of going through a member reboot, 
and uh, we're re-releasing our full length in about a month. So, and Jesse's putting together, or Mike's the Mike's putting together a project with who? Uh, Mike Hurley and Jesse are actually uh, putting together a project. They haven't told me much about it. I think it's a cover band, but he said expect big things. So I'm kind of of course I expect big it. things from all you kids. Yeah. You guys rock and roll over there. And Jesse, he don't give up. He's good. Nah, this is this is what Jesse wants to do. He was adamant about that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So you guys um, got this CD done, and what are you working on next? Well, the next step from here is uh, we're planning on going on or putting together another tour within the next couple months. We're going to try to hit the uh, northeast coast because every time we tour, we end up going down south. Right. So we're trying to hit up like New York and Boston, everything else like that. Other than that, it's just uh, recording a new single in January, and uh, we're trying to... uh, record a music video with I think Ronnie Bingaman from uh, Skyhawk Drive record a music video within February for the new single so but other than that we're just focused on you know trying to build the home a home following we're trying to tour around the tri-state we got a show in Philly coming up with uh, Will Powerless who also recorded with Evan Myers and uh, other than that we got another show at Bubba's with Life on Repeat on uh, February 1st that's a monthly thing going or no? Is that uh, just... Not really. I don't know. We uh, we played the School of Rock, I think, about two weeks ago. And uh, David Walker from um, Life on Repeat text Brian and was like, do you guys want to play with us again at Bubba's? So it was just kind of out of the blue thing. So it's not really a monthly thing. We actually try to stay away from playing Bubba's too much. We got, uh, we're got we on the Delaware Co-op uh, with Gary Kemp and all them. At, uh, What's a Delaware Area. Co-op? Tell me about that. Uh, Delaware Co-op, it was started by uh, Big Gary who uh, manages results may vary. And uh, basically it's a management company. It doesn't cost anything to get in, um, but they hit us up after our tour and asked us to join. They, uh, they put together what's called co-op shows and uh, they get a few bands that are on the co-op to come play. And uh, they're trying to make it so that there's like $400 guarantees and stuff like that when we play. And when bars want us, bands on the co-op to play, they have to go through the co-op company. So it's basically just promotional build up and everything run by Gary Kemp. So very good. Very good. Siga Leone. <laughs> well, you know that I <clears throat> I texted you and I told you that Awake at Last was going to be nominated for the Foulmouth Owl Award for Band of the Year. Uh, yeah. So um, we're going to see what happens. We are going to have an award show. It looks like it's going to be in April, at the end of April, at the Sports Zone with the Kia D Video Magazine. Gotta love sports though. Yeah, and uh, the Kia D Video Magazine and ExploreDE.com. All that's wonderful, wonderful stuff. Great, fun stuff. (laughs) That's what I love about you guys. You guys keep everything right here in Smyrna. Everything in Smyrna. No, it's just because I live here. It's nice to have the home base here. It's it's local to you guys. It's great for you guys, right? I work right next door, and I live two minutes from here. Like everything's perfect. Yeah, and the sports zone is great too. We get them to support everything we do, and they're right close by too. So creating our content's easy. You know, it's it's just really nice. But we've been up to um, Mojo and Westchester. Mojo, Maine. Yeah, and you know, Wake Last was there. Bad thing about this show's in twenty countries. Yes, it is. It's in over 20 countries. we got fans all over the country. Thanks to guys like Awake at Last who go out, and when they're out on tour, we promote them, and then we will shit have shit on their Facebook page while they're building new and real fans, which is real important. So they got fans out there that you know have liked our stuff. So we, you know, that's how it works. You promote us, we promote you guys. That's kind of a little scratch my back, scratch your. That's back exactly thing. it. That's exactly it. So stroke my dick, I'll stroke yours. <laughs> well, this has been a long year. It sure has, hasn't it? Yeah. Yes. What's uh what's positive and, and the most positive thing that happened to you this year, Ian? Tell us about it. Come up to the mic, baby. Uh, most positive thing? I don't know. You're you're I'm working positive. now, right? Yeah. I mean, I had bad days and good days, but what the hell's that noise? I'm getting a fax. That's faxed up. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> so say it again, Ian. I don't know. You put me on a spot, but I'm saying I said I had. Good days and bad days, but yeah, I am working now. That's all, really, just working a lot. Whose who's vehicle are you driving tonight? My grandpa. Pop ops. Yeah, because he retired, so now I just he'll use it, but I I most I use it mostly for work and. Ian, the producer's got big plans for 2013, guys. Yep, he's gonna get pop ups truck. He's already got that. Nah, for keeps. No, you getting a truck for keeps? 
He's, no, we, no. he's trying to weasel it out. That's no, he's, he's getting a shed, dude. You don't know about this program, do you? Oh, Tell fuck. us about the shed, Ian. It's just an idea, Ed. <laughs> oh, yeah, them <laughs> ideas. God damn. No. Tell us about the shed, dude. All right. You gonna rank on it or really yeah. listen? Listen, just I'm listening, dude. Part. I'm in. Like, t- I got questions. I don't know. It's like I was thinking about putting a ten by sixteen. It's got high ceilings, nice shed out back. Get it like insulated, carpeted, just to hang out, like more <laughs> space. You know what I mean? And then I was thinking down the road doing some kind of business out of it while continuing to work at the job I'm at now. But I don't know. I still have to look into it. You know what I mean? So, a man clubhouse. A man cave. Yeah, no, it's a clubhouse. You gonna make beats in there? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Mad beats. Nights. You got a rap for us tonight? No. Albert's got one for you. Do I? You might. I'm sure you can find one. I'm not a rapper. But what? Ian has sent me some text the other day. Oh, shit. What'd you say? He said, I'm getting a shed put in the back for me to hang out in. Pop I it's at least to get. It's at least for some extra space, but you know what I mean? I want to do something out of it. Like, I don't know yet. Pop Ops uh, down. He's come down to look at it. Look at them with me. They're pre-made. I'm thinking it'll fit 7 to 10 comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get a new electric box put in. And my pop-pop will continue to pay the electric. Orgy with MILFs. You'll be having a go-go house out that bitch. My mom is good. She's mad at <laughs> go-go me. House. But mom is good. <clears throat> Ashley, and I said, Ashley said, get an apartment instead of a shed. Be a man, she said. I think she's drunk. <laughs> 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 you know they banged who actually smacking Ian oh yeah of course we know that they banged who don't know that people that didn't know oh, I didn't know first. I didn't know <laughs> see <laughs> I, I was out of the loop yeah he tore it up <laughs> he likes some old dirt so Ian's putting the shed out back he said something about coming up and doing the foul mouth owl show from the shed I was gonna. You said you said in the text that how's that gonna be an upgrade? I was I was saying it would be a good change of scenery. Ian said. Uh, Ian said. Okay. He said maybe a taping at the shed, different, comfortable venue. Think about it. <laughs> what kind of venue, man? <laughs> you gonna get a sign? Like I said, it's at palace. least going out there just for space, like just to chill out there. And I, I was, I thought about having a taping or something. This fucking table's eight feet long, dude. How you it's gonna... bigger once you're in there. I swear. <laughs> You'll be standing there like that. You're like, like coffee a nice table and some futons. Like it's gonna be awesome, though, dude. Baby steps. Except yeah. in the summertime, he's not gonna have air conditioning. Yeah, and I was looking into different ways to heat it too, like. Maybe even a sp- uh, battery operated heater or something. I don't know. How do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> Just make a hole in the wall. I'll go in my house. It'll be a glory hole for. He's Peter. gonna have a right. urinal with a pipe sticking out the other side. It's over. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you still gonna get that scooter? Yeah, I'm still saving for that, but I've been spending my savings. So. It'd be like Pee Wee Herman. So you're saving for your scooter, but you're spending it. Now you're gonna buy a shed. Well, this the shed idea is like uh, it's, you can uh, you can buy them straight up, or you can just pay a monthly bill to own. And I'm I'm probably gonna go that route. Boom. How much is it? It's like a little over three grand. How much is it a month? Between one fifty two seventy five a month, I think. If you don't like it, can you take it back? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get one I like. I don't know. Let's see. It's just an idea right now. He said, <laughs> I said, taping of what? FMA? He said, yeah, man, I can get a lot of traffic through here. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said it before, but this is different. I said, traffic through where? <coughs> People at the shed, it's mine. <coughs> Up in Newcastle. Ian, how many people are we going to get through the shed? He's going to have a door on each side. You could just walk through. Yeah, you could have a drive through shit. People could just, you could have a window on the side. People yeah, could just drive up. The door, yeah, they could next. just drive up and get interviewed and then drive on and get, get the next one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You going to have beer there, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you people? On dope? Ian. Yeah. You been ripping bongs lately? A little bit. Making beats. <laughs> when's the last time you get high? So so yeah. describe the fir- <laughs> describe the layout in this shed. All right. You said you're gonna get carpet. Is it gonna be like shag sixty shit? No, it's gonna be a ten by sixteen, like I said, high ceilings, carpeted, drywalled, like insulated. Flowers? There's they they have like decks over top. You're gonna have a couch? Couch. Yeah, I'm gonna have a sofa bed actually. Is it gonna a sofa bed? Or or a, now you're fucking thinking. Yeah. You're going to get some girls over there, ain't you? Yeah. Huh? Let's see. Me so funny. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then I have Wi-Fi. You know what I mean? I'm there's, I don't have to have like a computer hookup. So you can get on the stuff. internet and jerk yeah. off. Out and there get porn. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a good porn site, Ian. Uh, I don't know. Free. Pornhub, I guess. Pornhub. Pornhub. Pornhub.com. We all love Pornhub. Everybody Mom, loves I'm going out the shed. I'll be back in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah, so Ian sent me a big long text on the shed there. And thanks for sending me text because I can't remember shit, so I can always review. <clears throat> Ian's good about sending me stuff. How long was that letter you sent me when you knew you were in trouble with, with, uh, with Ashley? That was a good, good letter. Three paragraphs. Wasn't it three pages? It was, it was more like yeah, three, three four. It might have been five pages. It was impressive. I read yeah, it worth it. was like a good three, five, three to five paragraph sorry note to him. Three to five pages. Don't make me pull it out and read it uh, right here. Yeah, because it's still here. You're too much fun, Ian. <laughs> a barrel full of monkeys. All right. So moving right along. Ian, thanks for showing up. Ian was our special um, mystery guest tonight. Made me totally happy. I did what? Five flips? How many flips out there? Like five, yeah. I told him that you wanted me to land it on my neck, you guys, but they were outside. That's anyway. all right. That's yeah. all right. So this year we had a lot of stuff happen. Um, oh, before we go into this, let's talk to Chris Keller real quick. Chris is here from Chris Keller Photography, which is a new business. He's a new right. photographer, and uh, he's going to be helping out uh, different folks in around here at the studio from time to time, maybe, hopefully. Yeah. Hope and hope. So we're doing a pinup contest February 9th. You going to be available that night? It's a it's a Saturday night. Definitely trying to. It's going to be yeah, uh, it. it's going to be a lot of fun. And the girls dress up. They get it, they they went all out last year. There yeah. was a lot of cool outfits, and um, it's a lot of fun. Nice prize. It's going to be five hundred dollar first prize. It's going to be that consists of a four hundred dollar gift certificate and a one hundred dollar. Uh, photo shoot certificate that they're going to get from our studio here nice so second place is a hundred dollar visa gift card and a hundred dollar gift certificate for a photo shoot as well and third place will get some kind of consolation prize and remember i told you i'm winning that bitch i need five hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> squig needs a four hundred dollar visa gift card come on down to the sports zone february 9th 2013 so, Chris, tell us a little bit. You're also not only a photographer, but you're also an artist? Yeah. Yeah, I've been writing music my whole life. I started out just, like, writing poems and stuff like that. And then I guess more so by the time I got to high school, I realized that I'm into pretty much all genres of music. I've always written to different things, whether it be hip-hop beats or rocking out or anything like that. Like, whatever I'm in the mood for, I just I start writing. And I turn my poetry into lyrics because I realized that Good music is really just poetry behind instruments. So I went ahead and ran with that. I actually released the album on February 29th under my uh, surname Vagabond. I go by Vagabond, that's my rap name, my stage name whenever I'm up doing my open mic sets or anything like that. I uh, took a hiatus for a little while, fucked up, because, you know, <laughs> just kept caught up in life with shit, you know? That's how it goes. Doing with corporate America and everything, trying to. Corporate like America. And all that stuff. What are you doing with corporate America? Oh, uh, you know, just working customer service type jobs, stuff like that. Corporate America. Climbing yeah. the ladder. Climbing the yeah. ladder. Try to build my own success. Bump you know, of the ground. dollars in my pocket, all that good stuff. And I uh, I heard you singing up at the sports internet. Yeah, you did. You sounded you good. Me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah he heard me do... A lot of uh, excitement. He heard me do a Papa Roach cover. He heard me do one of my originals that I actually did to the Dreams beat that game was featured on i'm not sure if kanye or dr J, whoever give us a few bars real quick a few bars from that song belt something out all right i had a dream round about 2005 get a record deal or get buried alive like a day later sick boy died after that more fell each year it was kind of like a part of me died started to lose hope i didn't know how to cope that's why people started pushing drugs or do a dope didn't know how to act again fading to black fell off like a flat tire on one way track i became a smooth criminal till i got caught on the beam they tried to defecate on my dream i imagine life would be better if i could do more than make ends meet trying to be a go-getter when i first wrote these bars it was 2009 back on the proud the economy still ain't fine I'll start the riot Cause my mama taught me how And I'm gonna make eight albums of my career If they allow Yeah Oh shit Man, tore it up Tore it up I wanna hear Ian Alright, Ian <laughs> Pick something 
<laughs> Come on, you got Ryan. <laughs> Come on, Ian. You know you got it. You know you got it. I don't feel like rapping right now. Just please. I gotta feel it. Like Can we shoot like, you or something? I gotta feel it. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta feel, I feel it. Like, right? No, I do like rapping like if I'm high real high or something. No, I feel you. I feel like when I get drunk. And then you just feel yeah. it. Like Can we shoot you with a BB gun or something? Or something. <laughs> what do you feel like doing, Ian? I just feel like chilling. I just Drums? Got, listen, I just worked a hard Can day. Can we fire a golf ball cannon at you? Huh? Can you take it? A golf ball? Golf ball cannon. To the gut. No. Just one shot. It's not gonna hurt. It'll be on low. Ian's not in a good mood. What? <laughs> no, dude, I'm, I'm just beat, that's all. all right. I'm happy to be here, happy to see you. What'd you get for Christmas, Ian? Uh, I got a pair of, nice pair of Uggs, mo- the mocks and slippers, you know what I mean? Uggs, <laughs> come on, man. Slippers, man. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, holy shit, And dude. he got what? some skinny pants, too. Yeah, oh, man. He got the slippers. The leggings. What did you get? What did you get? What did you get your mom for Christmas? I uh, I only got her her candy she likes, and I'm gonna uh, I actually am gonna get her something this week. She, we and her talked about it, but I mostly got Kimberly something. I got my grandma. What'd you get, Kimberly? Uh, I got her a pair of uh, boots that she wanted. One thing about Ian, you can vouch for. He is dyingly honest. He doesn't <laughs> lie. He'll tell you any damn thing. I'll tell you. How much weed did you buy for Christmas? I mean, I sold a, bought a little bit, not too much. I had some good. I had some that are like. Stupid. How much money did you spend on it? Tell us the truth. I bought a nice fifty bag. How much did you spend on your mom for Christmas? One fifty. Dollar fifty. You said you got her candy. No, yeah, dollar fifty candy, candy bar. In the week, oh, me and her man. like we're talking about it. Like we, I was, I had to pay for st- stuff. My car went into the shop. So I only really Your got car? It. Remember I told you? Oh, my grandfather's car. I had to get a new catalytic converter oh, oh, oh. and all that shit. So. No, I don't remember all that. But I, I mean, we had a good, you know what I mean, time. We spent a good time together, but I told my mom, I, she, knew, she knows I'll get her something during the week. So but I mostly got her the candy she liked, the card. Uh, Tell the truth. You know you spent more on yourself on weed. <laughs> Between no, the car and the weed, you couldn't afford anything else. I got, I got, I got to get Christmas money. Well, why not? And- Nothing wrong with that. Go home yeah. and split it's that okay. weed with your mom. <laughs> what are you trying to grab? Like the golf ball, I keep dropping it. So, Chris, how could somebody get a hold of you if they want to get some pictures done? They can hit me up on my Facebook, Chris Keller on my Facebook. They could access- Is that just a personal page? It's not a business page? Yeah, I don't have a business page okay. set up yet. I have a couple of friends that are willing to make a website for me, but I haven't actually reached out and contacted them yet or anything like that. It's kind of like a spread of moment deal. Cool. Well, we do well, websites. And, of course, you can't my cell phone, too. So right when now. you uh, check out the Facebook and look at the pictures from tonight's taping, which is December 26th, 2012, it'll be our last taping for the year. The photographs will be from Chris Keller. Chris Keller photography. So check them out. Check them out. So this year we had some new artists and some familiar artists on our show. Of course, this is only our second year doing this, but um, we've had a lot of fun with it. Um, Squig, who was some of your favorite artists? Uh, Low Down 302, of course. Wake Low Down 302 was here a handful of times. Loner wrote it. Lonery Road, it wasn't here this year, were they? No, not, oh, you meant this year. I thought you meant since the This year, this, this year. We're talking about 2012, man. Um, Chapel Storm Crow came a few times. Yeah. Him and his guys. Devolver. Devolver was here. That was a great show. Yeah, it was awesome. We had Dia. Were they, no, was that this year? I don't know, but they're, are they still in business? Uh, yeah. You talked to those guys the other day. Yeah, they're still in business. Mining. Minus in like two members. I don't so know. they have new members and new project, or is it still via? It's still via. Via. Via via via. Via. via Somebody's Facebook. buzzing. All right, we're all good there. So, anybody um, who works a regular job, nine to five or whatever? Me. Everybody here? I'm a business for myself. I don't know, nine so, to Christmas five, comes, the holidays come, and, and people tend to. Um, you know, get appreciation from their work. Did you get a Christmas bonus this year, Ian? Uh, from work? From your work, yeah. <laughs> no, we didn't. Maybe. I've only been at this place uh, maybe a month and a half now. So Is that right? Spot, yeah. Did they give you a card or a fucking ham or anything? Candy bar? Uh, no, we did get a Christmas card, I think. I don't I don't know. Not directly. No one handed me one. But I think Were you high at work? A little bit. I, <laughs> I get so laid back at this place. What are you man. doing again? I literally, okay, it's a, 
it's a warehouse, but it's refrigerated, so you got, you got to dress pretty warm. And um, yeah, don't say where it is. All right. <laughs> so you don't get no trouble. But I pretty much just uh, go up and down the aisles with a broom and <laughs> just sweep the aisles and organize the cardboard <coughs> from the I plastic. I push dirt <laughs> down the hallway. It's repetitive, but it's just like, you know, I mean, I just, I don't know. Where's all the dirt keep coming from? You got to do it all the time. Well, there's a, uh, like I said, it's a food distributor. I'll try not to say too much then. But um, pretty much there's these guys on pallet jacks, and they go around and they cut open the boxes and shit. I mean, all the, the plastic wrap, and then they uh, take the boxes of the items over to, like, the moving trucks. What the fuck is up. the item? Like, food. Refrigerated food, yeah. So there's none of the plastic. I just have to separate. It's, it's really easy, but it's just, like I said, it's, getting, it's just repetitive. But it sounds like you're like working at a soup kitchen. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Where are we playing Guess Ian's job now? Anybody else get a Christmas bonus this year from their work? Yeah. I Did you? What'd you get? Six hours or six days cut. Six days cut? <laughs> what, you got your, your, your work? We shut off, we shut, off uh, we shut down like the day before, the day of, and the day after Christmas. And then we're down the day before, the day of, and the day so after So you get years. fucked for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't trying to help us out at all. <clears throat> no. How about you? Down lose. They didn't give you anything, Chris? I thought I got a Christmas bonus, but Uncle Sam kind of took that from me. But, you know, all the days work, I guess. <laughs> Uncle Sam. Another day, another 50 cents nowadays. How about you, Squig? Nah, but I did the Christmas party at my work, and they gave me a $50 Visa card. $50 Visa card. That's awesome. What, are you kidding me? Awesome. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's super fantastic. That's super fantastic. What'd you get last year? Uh... $200 gift card. What? Yeah, damn right. I was a little tired this time. Nah. $50? For, uh, they, can't, damn. Can't talk about that's words. a big drop. Huh? That is. Oh, it's we have a different owner. Oh, shit. Different he, people. He's 75% cheaper. Okay, that's all I can say about that. Different owner. <laughs> all right. So, Christmas bonuses. I didn't get no Christmas bonus. You didn't? Hell no, I work for myself. I sent you something. <laughs> What'd you send me? A couple hundred bucks, I don't know. You did? Yeah. Where? I just came up and sat <clears throat> it on your front step one day. Fucking Ian got it. Your car it. wasn't out there or nothing, I just left it. That Ooh. real windy day. Bullshit. I did. How about Justin McNatt? He came in this year. Finally. Yes, he did. I heard it on the radio. It's like- it what? Was, I think I texted you too, dude. It was late on uh, what was it, ninety five seven? He's a dude with the buzz head, McNabb band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. he was on uh, either something local in Belfont or Claymont. Yeah, I, they. It was real late though. I was like, damn, that's crazy. And it was yeah, they have local day. shows. Lo- a lot of the local radio stations do that. Yeah, that's what I thought was pretty cool. You know what I mean? Um, an artist that we represent, JQ. They're uh. Their song, Turn It Up, was on the radio the other day on 101.7 during the day. Um, Quentin was actually sitting in his car, and it came on, and he videotaped it, the, the, his name on the screen of the radio, so that nice. was kind of cool. So um, we'll be doing some stuff with them this year, coming up. Who's that, Albert? It's uh, a, a personal phone call that I'm not able to take right this minute. Awesome. Is it my mom? No. It was your sister. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, he's running them off. Yeah. Your mom, I had to poke her on Facebook. Cocks and balls. <laughs> she didn't poke me back. Nah. No. Ian's mom keeps Chip Angel me. poked me. Did he? Yeah. Chef Bones poked me. Well, what happened to him? I haven't heard from Chef yeah. Bones in a while. Yeah, but why would he poke a dude? He was in jail. I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. Squig, it's your, it's your uh, sister, man. She won't leave me alone. No, give I'm joking. Her, buy her a pack of cigarettes and give her some shrimp. She'll leave. <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> some scrimps. <laughs> give her some scrimps. Some nice combination there. All right, all right. right. All right. Prison girls take anything for that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, so this year in 2012, we were supposed to have the end of the world last week. Zombie apocalypse. I spent all my that? fucking was money. Was, it, was anybody else on Facebook that night just like... Laughing at everybody. Yeah, Lord. For like four hours straight, like the statuses were just fucking ridiculous. I went was out, it? spend all my money, yeah. did all kinds of drugs and shit, lost my job, <laughs> and woke up the next day. You imagine what I felt like? Cussed my boss out. God, I shot him in the knee. <laughs> shot him in the knee. 
I dressed up like a zombie, went out and started throwing rocks <laughs> and breaking windows and smashing people's cars and shit. <laughs> What'd you do? Just mess your hair up? Uh, yeah. I just let the bedhead go that day. <laughs> I got the Look, coolest bedhead. You were tired bedhead. and shit walking like this. Yeah, that's it. And I stayed up for three days and I got had a good drunk on. and Yeah, eyes were all red. I could barely lift the axe, that but, I, but, the sledgehammer I was carrying. And you don't even, he hasn't drank in 12 years, but he drank because he thought it was the end. Yeah, so now I'm an alcoholic. He's an again. alcoholic. I found him in the closet when I got Who over started there. this zombie apocalypse shit? Because I'm going to sue him because of my alcoholism. <laughs> yeah. I relapsed because I of them. I killed a man. Ugh, it's the walking dead. I spent all my money on this fucking zombie <laughs> survival kit, and now I can't get a refund. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what was in that kit? I know a steak. I remember you talking about That's doing vampires. That. I remember you was. No, I got it from Ian. It was bongs and it was a bong and a bunch of weed. Oh, you oh, just take God. the stick and run it right down the throat. That way they can't bite you. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. No, I gave it away. I didn't want to mess with it. So the end of the world came and it went, and we're still here. Yeah. Or maybe we all died and we're just still died together. Just, I don't know what the deal is. We think we're still alive. Is that what it is? So it's like purgatory. It's like a dream. Man, if I died and I still work at Nathan's, I'm in hell. Look, man. I'm in hell. If I'm going to have to be on this show every fucking day for the rest of my life. <sighs> this is sweet. It's reoccurring. So, so you work at Nathan's? Yeah, I work at Nathan's. It's close to the home, right? Yeah, about a five-minute walk if I hustle. Yeah. <laughs> Moses. Yeah, Moses. Moses. You were talking about Moses earlier. Get in the car, bro. Get Who? in the car, bro. Who's Moses? Moses is this, uh, I don't know if he's Puerto Rican or what. He used to work there before I worked there. Oh, is that the guy that owns that place on 300? He don't own no, shit. He don't own shit. He don't own the clothes he's wearing. Damn. No, <laughs> <laughs> Moses, <laughs> Moses he, was, he was a crazy motherfucker. He just quit out of nowhere one day. He owns two tablets, came off the mountain. You know why he quit out of no reason one day? Because he came and I hired him. And, um, oh, he works with you? He did. <laughs> I've never seen nothing. He can't even make toast. <laughs> Damn. He lied and said he was an impressive chef and everything. Oh, my God. I've never seen nothing like it. Never. Tell him the rice story. That motherfucker. <laughs> rice story? <laughs> took 50 pounds of rice, poured it in a six-inch pan, filled it up with water, stuck it in the steamer. Opened up the steamer to take the rice out. Can't even pull it out. It's all swelled up in there. <laughs> this dumb motherfucker. I said, why do you got chicken gravy there? He says, because we're having fucking spaghetti. I'm like, what? What the, fuck? What the hell are you talking about? His crack, his crack, his crack was kicking in. Yeah, and That's everything all. It goes, man, it's fucking perfect, isn't it? It's fucking perfect. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Uh, I'm trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> yeah, that son of a bitch. Uh, you probably seen him, Al. A little uh, Puerto Rican dude riding on a 10-speed up and down the highway. Riding skin Yeah. Skin that's him. Oh, that's, I know who you're talking about. Moses. Moses. Yeah, I saw him throw some trash on the ground. I was like, damn. What, you wanted to beat him up? I felt like running him over my car. Damn. <laughs> but I didn't have full coverage. So <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. That's good. I don't All think right. insurance covers manslaughter anyway. So we have a little um, segment we want to do here. Squig has some questions. We're going to do a question and answer session where we go around the table. Squig's got some questions. Everybody's going to have to give a quick answer. Yeah, and everyone has to answer it. Everybody's got to answer it. Please yourself. What are you preparing in with the questions? I don't know. He's going to give me his number. What are you tearing no, off paper? Ew, you nasty bitch. Okay. All right, so <laughs> here we are. Do we need a... Uh, Oh, let's have some Awake at Last music going <coughs> underneath here. How about that? Oh, these guys suck. All right, go ahead, Squig. This is a uh, roundtable Q&A with Squig. Yeah. yeah. All, right. All, right. All right, fellas. Um, when, impressing, when impressing a woman in her junk, do you listen to your own music? If not, who do you listen to? Say that again. When in <laughs> this question was referred to Stephen or was <coughs> given to Stephen, by the way. Yeah. Call me off guard. He just kind of looked at me. When impre- impressing a woman in her junk, do you listen to your own music or someone else? Or what do you listen to? It's all about that Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. You got to set the tone, man. Stephen goes for Marvin Gaye. Aaron, how about you? It's all about the crew. Motley Crew. Yeah. Brian. Casey and JJ. 
Who? <laughs> Casey and JoJo. Casey, Casey and JoJo? Oh, shit. Who the fuck is that? You never heard of Casey and JoJo? Ian, who do you listen to? What do you mean? Uh, when you're when you're banging out, as you would say, as you would say, when you're those are your terms. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I never really had it with music in the background, but I listen to any kind of music. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because you, what do you mean to jump with all her jump? <laughs> You're all up in her jump. Oh, oh. Dude, honestly, I probably had sex with her one time when there was music in the background. Like, with who? I'm not gonna say any names, Please. but I don't like. I don't even like to kiss and tell like that. But yeah, you do. No, I'm not going to then. <laughs> but no, only one time. So what know. was the song? What music? Give us the music. Uh, I know it was like a Pandora, and I know it was like a hip hop. Maybe not. I don't want to say T Pain, but. Something smooth like that, I guess. Some R. Kelly. Chris, that what do you what do you what do you like to get it on to? I get on to anything really. Is it wrong to put on some death metal and pound out like a double bass <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Smack, smack, smack. I'll tell you what, I, I, can, I can get it to this song here, Precious. I feel like that would be an interesting one. Oh Lord, okay. <laughs> Take some acid. How's that? You? And just have sex for days. Anyway. For days and not even feel it. <laughs> Squig, you got to give an answer too, buddy. Uh, just rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Good old I can deal with some rap too. All right. Here's next, the, question. next question. Next, next question. question. Moving right along. Anybody ever paid for sex, prostitute? <laughs> nah. This is Delaware, man. Come on. They got them here. <laughs> They're here. Nah, it's too easy to find it for free though. <laughs> I don't know. Does buying dinner count? Huh? Does buying dinner count? I'm nah. the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> you would think it does, doesn't it? You're still wasting your money one way or another. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where's the weirdest place each one of you had sex? In. Uh, out back of a house. This house? No, no. <laughs> but like that apart, like down at UD, the whole UD campus, everyone's outside doing something. You know what I mean? But that's probably the weirdest place. Like right behind a, a shed. Is that what give you the, inspired you to get a shed? Yeah. <laughs> Thought maybe you can make something happen out there. Yeah, he's going to. Pinball machine out there? Maybe inside. I don't know. Yeah. It's dark out. So where's the weirdest place you ever did it, Brian? On top of a Bible fire grippers. Fire. I'm sorry, what'd you say? On top of a fire truck. On top of a, on fire, top truck. Of a fire truck. That's yeah. interesting. Was it rolling? Oh. No. There's a party. Were you on top of the ladder? No, the hood bit. The hose bed. <laughs> <laughs> she was on the hose bed. <laughs> she was on the hoe bed. Yeah, they were wearing helmets and just boots. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron. Mine was in a driveway, like on a driveway. No on car, rocks, no some gravel. No, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was well black paved. Top. It was black top. Black nice top. smooth black top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steven. Uh, I'd have to say it was in a, this chick's basement. And the only reason it was kind of weird was because her uncle was asleep, like, around the corner. So. <laughs> Good God. Yeah. Holy shit. He was probably listening in. <laughs> oh, it's hot. We were listening for the story. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, man. <laughs> Chris. Me? Let's see. I guess on my brother's bed. Damn. On your brother's Damn, bed? Man. On my brother's bed. Did you yeah. tell him? Well, here's the funny thing. He's actually crawling army commando style on the floor with the video camera. So, yeah, it's on tape. Oh, shit. Yeah. You guys- Holy shit. Chris has a sex tape out, everybody. Oh. That's awesome. With his brother ten recording. Years strong. Ten years ago? <laughs> yep. You sound awful proud of that, Chris. Yeah, he's got the video. That was a rather defining moment in my life. Is that right? Yeah. Awesome. Is that what (laughs) inspired you (laughs) to get this nice camera here? Yeah, I'm down for a little gonzo. Get some extra money on the side. (laughs) What did you say? You down for what? Gonzo. What's that, weed? I'm a little confused here. Yeah. (laughs) Tell us all about it, Chris. Is that a not white thing or? No, it's just a porn term. <laughs> oh, he's down for porn. Oh, porn. Oh, Chris is a porn star. Everybody. Yes. Yes. I've seen a couple videos. Is that where you know him from, Squig? Yeah. You were saying he looked familiar. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> he's the Ron Jeremy to New Millennium. <laughs> oh, man. Chris Keller. <laughs> His name that sounds like a porn star name. Yeah, okay. but they call him Godzilla. <laughs> he's doing shit. Chinese chicks running around with a big dick knocking them down. <laughs> Squig, where's the weirdest place you ever did? Me? Uh, 
trunk of a car. With your cat? <laughs> yeah, I had that pussy there. Yeah, I had that pussy there. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I did it. I kidnapped her. <laughs> Sounded just like that shit. Mm -hmm. And she said, Great dildo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next question. Uh, where's, <laughs> where's the weirdest place you ever had sex with yourself? <laughs> weirdest place you've ever masturbated? <laughs> Anybody? Do we, like, do we get like a pass and go? A pass? No, you don't pass. <laughs> no, no passing. No, no, no bitching, dog. No bitching. Steven doesn't master. Everybody me. knows, but I know you do it so much you forget what's weird and what's not. So, how about funny? Most memorable masturbation experience. Ian, tell us all about it. We're all being honest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, we all do it, but... Uh, <laughs> no, we all do it. <laughs> I was house-sitting... Someone's house. Uh, my mom, well, it used to be a coworker of mine too. His, uh, I had to watch his dogs and stuff for the weekend. His house, and it was at someone else's house. You know what I mean? I was there for the weekend. He jizzed all over the place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I whacked it there. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that's probably that. That still gets. As soon as he where said were that, you again? I was like house sitting. It was in New Jersey. House sitting. What if he has cameras and you jerking off now? <laughs> Damn. No, Fucking years. Ian's a French porn star right now and don't even know it. Yeah, be like, is he itching? I don't see nothing in his He's hand. He's not even getting royalties. Uh, I, guess, <laughs> I guess I do know where the weirdest one I ever did was um, on tour. Steven's <laughs> getting uh, masturbating on tour. Of course, you're in, the, you're in the van with six sweaty guys. 13-hour drives. Just Ew, up, you jerked off in the van? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'd have been looking for Jesse to peek, or Vince to peek around the corner. <laughs> Well, I saw Jesse disappear once, and I was looking out the window. Next thing I know, this, like, fucking sock just goes flying out the window. Ah! <laughs> the old sock Damn. catching the jizz in a sock trick, yes. Aaron, give us your most memorable masturbation story. Man, I worked at Bob Evans. <laughs> oh, my God! I worked at Bob Evans. That's why I don't even care. <laughs> it's a terrible place. But there's this girl there, and we were, like, we were messing around, and, like, she kept like rubbing up against me. I was a dishwasher, you know, and I would cook every now and then. And uh, she just kept rubbing up against me, you know, just, you know, doing dumb stuff. And I just, I, I had to do it. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom and do it. I'm be right back. You didn't do it in the kitchen, did you? Girls are, men's or <laughs> girls' room? Huh? Men's or women's room? I try to go in the girls' room. There's too many people in there. Yeah, you don't want oh. to go in there. It stinks in the girls' room. Did it have a lock? No. Were you in the stall? Yeah, I was in the stall. <laughs> No, Damn, that dude's got four fucking legs. He was standing in front <laughs> of the sink. It looks like he's dancing in there. What the hell? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it looks like he's dancing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking that shit. He's up. cutting a jig. Oh, man. They're doing the Humpty Hump. <laughs> How about you, Chris? Well, I guess the most memorable one for me would be uh, when my mom walked in called me. <laughs> yeah, I thought my door was locked. I was like 10. Shit was fucked up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Damn, you were masturbating you, at 10? You, yeah. didn't, you didn't get that one on tape, did He's you? a porn star. No. Damn, yeah. he started early, man. I, I do that shit. He's I'm a porn doing. star. That's why he's a porn star. You gotta start early. <laughs> Getting called is awkward as shit. It is. My dad. Well, that's my next question. Each of us tell man. a time that we were caught. Oh, shit. I got good hiding space. I ain't never been caught. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. What, your hand down your pants? Plus, I'm like quick. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you make sure you're ready when you're ready. You, you, you lean up against the wall, put smushing on it. I can go in the bathroom just like it'd be like I took a piss and you guys wouldn't even know the difference. <laughs> I'll be right back. I go in there every time and go, hmm, the toilet seat's not warm. <laughs> <laughs> he was in there for 20 minutes. <laughs> and there's no stench in the air. No, what's going on here? You ever been caught, Ian? Never been caught. Never. Who's been caught? Not been caught. I've never been caught. Brian's been caught? Never been caught. Where were you caught at, Brian? In my bedroom. <laughs> Who <laughs> caught you? My dad. Dad walked in? Dad walked in. What did dad say? It wasn't a very good day that day. Why? Because you were scared and it's stayed awkward. upstairs? <laughs> Hell no. He took me downstairs and explained to me what was going on. <laughs> he explained like it to you? Uh, American yeah. Pie moment. Oh, you were a little kid? Uh, I was a little. <laughs> How old were you? About 10. 
shit. Jerking off at 10? God damn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that's man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I started wait. at 12 or something. Yeah, I was probably 12 or something. Yeah, yeah. me too. God damn. Man, I know some of my boys that were smashing at 12. I'm like, damn, I didn't even lose mine till 16. What do you need, Ian? Damn. Over here, buddy. We got more got gum. Now you yeah, I'll take a piece of gum. Who else got caught? Hey, no. I, I, I caught. got caught. Aaron got caught. What? Tell us about it. Man, I was in my, I was in my bedroom. I mean, I was yanking this shit like it was one of those aggressive motherfuckers. My dad walks in. He like busts in the door. And he's like, <laughs> and he starts laughing. He's Freeze! Like, he's like, ah! And he's like, my whole, all my sisters, I got two older sisters, and my mom, my grandmother's there. He goes, everybody come back here and jerk it off. Oh, my and God. Like, they all come running back here. I got the covers over my head. I'm like, <laughs> oh, shit. And he's like, and they're all like around me laughing and shit. And I was only like 13. I started crying and shit. <laughs> I, felt like, I, felt like, <laughs> I felt like the biggest dumbass. Oh, man. But, man, I didn't, come out, I didn't come out of my room for like three hours. Cause he was finishing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't think I did that shit for a week afterwards. <laughs> and a week's a long time. So. Shocked the fucking ball stack. Oh, God. <laughs> Function out of you. You know, the fucked up part was that I was like, you know that part where you're about to bust and you can't stop? That's right as he walked in. So I'm like, no, no, oh, dead. Shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you had to finish. <laughs> I couldn't stop, man. I just couldn't stop. What finished. are you going to do? Oh man! Yeah, what are you gonna do? You gotta finish. Anybody else? It was real fucked up when I got caught. Cause when I walked in, I tried to play it off like I wouldn't do anything. She caught me before that moment, so it was like, oh, damn. <laughs> it was like I just ended up with blue balls later. Cause like I need to get a chance to do anything about that. She's like, I don't want to do anything. She came in and said, "What I wanted for dinner." Yeah. Uh, What'd you say? Nothing. And you walk. Yeah, out. I'm, I'm, I'm not hungry. The rest of the day. I'm not hungry. I'll, I'll be out in a few minutes. Love it. Okay. She probably knew what was going on. Yeah. To this day, we've never talked about it. Ask her. No, nah, I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, did you catch me jerking off one day? <laughs> Remember when I was 13 and you walked in and looked like I was itching my leg? <laughs> <laughs> See if she's available next time you come on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring her with you. That'd Ian's mom story. came down. Ian's mom come down and Ian is still honest in front of her. He would. Yeah, but it was so weird. They surprised me, had her come down, but it was weird. I tried to get her to come for like a year and she wouldn't show up. And then on our anniversary I show, didn't... she came an hour after he showed up. So it was like an ambush? Think she, I didn't think she was huh? that. It was like an ambush? Yeah, he yeah. was ambushed. Oh, damn. Plus, Ian's he was mom, here. Mom was funny. Plus, the old uh, co host was here who cougared him. <laughs> and then mom cougars. shows up. And then there's a comedy uh, duo here that just wasn't letting up on that cougar thing. And mom, <laughs> mom was not happy that she cougared his, her son. So we were yeah, like, check yeah. out our anniversary show because we have a whole conversation on on that. Plus, I happen to know that Ian's mom helped Ian cougar or get cougared one time. Yes, and we, we reviewed that. that. Story up, like, yeah, but you did it. Dude, tell her help me. I love cougars. Mom was babysitting the cougar's baby while Ian. And then she was acting like, I can't find Ian anywhere. Yeah, he was dry. <laughs> <laughs> He's so calm, man. Listen to the show. That's weed. That's what weed does to you. Like $150 yeah, worth. Yeah, $150 worth. <laughs> yeah. How much you got left? I mean, no, I've been helping out some friends who are looking out for some bugs sometimes, maybe for free or something. But Is that right? Yeah. All right, Squig, you got any more um, questions for us, buddy? Yeah, uh... Have you ever had another man's penis touch you anywhere on your body? Steven, why is everybody looking at Steven? I have no Holy clue. Shit. Anywhere. What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> Tell us, Aaron. What do you got? What do you know? We was at a party one time. <laughs> oh man. man. Both fucked up. And this girl comes in there and I'm I'm like fucking oh, with shit, her. Oh shit, this story. And he's all fucked. He comes in the room, he goes, Oh shit, I'm sorry, guys. And the girl's like, hey, you can stay. And I was like, oh shit, you can stay. So like we started, we're doing our shit, <laughs> we're doing our shit. <laughs> we're like you know doing all the fun shit, you know like high fiving each other and like laughing and can't stand up straight. I wouldn't even high five, touch, look or nothing. <laughs> no, nah, I thought it, I thought it was fucking awesome. I couldn't help it. We, we've been like best friends. Yeah, we've been friends. We've been friends. Grades, we've been friends so it was like, just kind of yeah, fucking. Yeah, it's so just one of those moments. It was destined <laughs> to happen, but this is weird. She took it like a champ though. She took it like a champ. It, this is weird, but. I'm pretty sure his dick touched my elbow. Oh my twice. god. Hey, was it cold? No, man, it was. <laughs> oh, nah, man, it was soft and warm. <laughs> nah, man. Oh, shit. Oh, and it was wet. 
<laughs> he, he had a moment for a second. Oh, man. You should see the look in his eye. That's why I asked these questions. <laughs> oh, man. Got to get them out of the way. <laughs> Damn. Good oh. times. Good times. That was pretty recent, actually. That was, that was what? September. September. Yeah. See? 2012. Dick touched it. How about you, Ian? You ever touched a penis, somebody else's penis? Maybe some, like, accidental... Bumping, but never. Like, <laughs> you know, like, no, like, you walk something you with a crowd or something, maybe some accident. Like, <laughs> what do you go like to that. a crowd with a whole bunch of naked dudes? You no, know I'm saying maybe somebody might like, accidentally. Sorry, man, is there at a party? Just rub up against you. I don't know. That's the closest <laughs> oh, I've been, man. I don't know. Who remembers shit like that? I'm just no, no, no. Saying, no like, I've never just had any me, kind man. of guy on. Hey, some guy just comes up and starts humping on you, dude. <laughs> you no, no. And you'll just go like this. <laughs> that means something, Ian. Sorry, I thought you were that way. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, people rubbed you on the train and shit. No, not like that. You said it was funny, and you know, I don't know what the question was. Ian really. gets fingered. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Right on the prostate. Oh, shit. What's next, Squig? Oh, shit. Uh, this is for you guys because I thought for a week the whole band last. was going to be here so um, who has the smallest dick <laughs> <laughs> you see the look on his face like shit it's me well, Eric <laughs> and you gotta be honest since they're not here to defend themselves you, know, you don't have to have the smallest dick anymore Steve <laughs> yeah who does he looks so scared when you ask that I question. actually it's, it's gonna sound weird but on tour, like I ended up seeing everybody except for like Brian. Brian's the only one whose penis I haven't seen because Eric, you you guys have met Eric. Yeah. Eric will fucking whip it out oh, I've no seen matter where he is. Yeah, pictures of him sitting on the toilet, standing up naked. Yeah, and I've seen I've seen Vince's because he walks out of the shower just. But I, I I can't tell you because I haven't seen Brian. So it's probably Brian. It's not me though. Yeah, with well, Brian, what you just <laughs> with Brian, you just see a bush, right? I don't know. <laughs> he's he's very he's homophobic, so he's in the wrong band. So he because hanging out with Eric and Vince, he's gonna get really creeped out quick. Mm. Yeah, good old he's Eric. So horny. <laughs> Somebody's horny over there. All right. Uh, what else you got, Squig? Hands up, everybody that's ever shit yourself. I'm sure I've shit myself yeah, six or seven <laughs> times on a regular basis. So what's wrong with that? <laughs> Do, you, <laughs> Do you need a diaper? I would never shit myself if I was wearing a diaper. That's disgusting. All right, where's the... Uh, I would piss myself, though. That's just convenient. How about the um, the most embarrassing place you ever sharded? And was like, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, man. Sharded? Farted and a little bit of dookie come out. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of dookie, <laughs> dookie come out. Oh. This conversation's going down the wrong road. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse. Squig, your, your 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 questions are degrading here, my friend. That's that's wonderful. I don't anybody who has a good short story. Eric does. Eric who? Blackway. Oh, that's right. Somebody sharded on his face, and he was stamping his face, face on the window. On the window. What a fucking what? nut! What's up with Eric? I have. Uh, we him, have it on the ship. Ask him about that. I'll, I'll ask him about it. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Eric's his own person. Yeah, I Eric was know. lying. Nah, I'm but sure. how did it just? Been. You seen how the show went? It was just perfect and came out. And he er, did it. Eric, Eric has his talent for just going over here with something, and it just seems like for real. I don't believe what he said, he but said it, he was going like this. To the wall. He said, "Yeah, I got shard on my face, and then I went outside and was smeared it all over the window." You <laughs> know, just like, if, if if weed was involved, I wouldn't doubt it. Oh Lord, good Lord. Does weed he make did, you he, shit yourself? No, he didn't shit and? himself. Did he? I think. Oh. No, I mean, I never <laughs> shit myself. Yeah, Ian, make you. Sh- did we Ian's make you sure? Right stuff. <laughs> yeah, you shit. You <laughs> know you're high when you shit yourself. Yeah. Mark, do you got remember, any more questions? What else you got? Uh, uh, are you guys that's in a new it. band now? I remember it's Awake at Last, but I don't remember you, you, or you. Or no, you're the photographer. I'm the only one from Awake at Last that's here. Yeah, I remember like two or three others. From, so it's well, all, um, all split up now. Eric, yeah. Eric and Vince have been in since the beginning. I, yeah. I think the band's about two years old now. Um, Jesse was the original yeah, drummer. And then uh, you probably met Estel as the original bassist, or maybe Mike Hurley. No, Estel never came over, and um, we met Mike once, yeah. I don't, and he wasn't here for that. But um, 
Yeah, ba- basically. Uh, Eric and Vince, you met them a few yeah. times. They're yeah. still Eric and Vince are. So the band wiggly. split up. You stayed in, involved, and then got. Well, I was the roadie for the California tour, and when Estel decided to leave, I kind of just slipped into that. Spot. Aren't you the guy that got left at the gas station? I did indeed get. That left was the you. Station. That's fucking funny. Yeah, they were yep. about an hour down the road before they realized that was. What's the, the band, band had a fishing what? trip guy? Are you that guy? Hmm. Remember, someone was on. They were talk. They said they could talk crap about him because he's he's not here. He's on a fishing trip. Oh, that, that was the band? last Valorian. Okay, all right. Your brain is clogged with bong resin, yeah, there's son. there's a lot of bands. <laughs> Ripping too many <laughs> bongs. A purple kush. What else you got, Squig? That's it. That's it? All right, well, that was question and answer with Squig. <laughs> Today's show was produced by Squig. He organized awesome. everything. <clears throat> Damn right. Thank you very much, sir. You're Did welcome. a good job. Did a good job. So I don't even know what the hell's happening over here. Let's see. Some gay ass show game show music was playing. All right, so we got to talk about uh, some stuff that's coming up. The Free Thinkers Ball, which is January thirtieth at the Sports Zone. It is an opportunity for original artists of all kinds, painting, sculptor, music, to have an opportunity in Kent County, Delaware. It's not something you find or around here too often. Is support for original music. So we have a venue to do it on a monthly basis at the Sports Zone in Smyrna with the Key D Video Magazine and ExploreDE.com. We are going to be hosting the Free Thinkers Ball the last Wednesday of the month. So if you're an artist and you're interested in some promotion, come on down. If you set up, you can bring your paintings, whatever you got, sculptures, CDs, rap music, comedy, set up a table, Get to know the other artists. We'll have you come over, and we will do a video interview for the Kitty Video Magazine, and it will be airing on ExploreDE.com throughout the year for next year. In addition to that, we need to talk about the pinup contest, which Squig thinks he's going to win. I'm going to win that bitch. It's at the Sports Zone, 235 Stadium Street in Smyrna. Isn't there a... Uh from the old pinup show commercial on WDSD me winning that I was going to win that one too but yeah. I got the flu yeah I don't have the um, I don't have those commercials ready but yeah we have the we did make commercials last year Coffin Fly made the commercials for this year and they are the band that's going to be playing there's a $400 Visa gift card first place plus a $100 photo shoot certificate for the winner second place is a $100 Visa gift card and a $100 Photo shoot gift certificate. Third place is a hundred dollar gift certificate. So girls, get your little rears all gussied up and your outfits out and all that stuff. Come on out. That's February 9th at the Sports Zone in Smyrna. And I gotta ask you, Aaron, how's your luck been lately, buddy? All right. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. Could you use a little bit <coughs> boost for your luck? Something new. Yeah. A change? Always. Always. Put some change in your pocket. Well, if you want to do something, if you want to get a different result, you got to do something different. Otherwise, everything's going to stay the same. So one thing I bet you've never done before is to tell five people about foulmouthdow.com by Friday. All you got to do is you got to nod your head like this. Just nod your head and you say, you can tell five people about foulmouthdow.com by Friday. Yeah, I can. Try it. I can tell five people about foulmouthdow. No, you tell them you can. And you get five no. people to tell foul. Yeah. See, now I'm stumbling on it. You get five people to tell five more people about foulmouthal.com by Friday. And this whole thing just grows like crazy. See that? That's why we got thousands of people every week to check us out. And you shake your head when you do it so that yeah. it's like, yeah. yeah. You can do it. They're going to love you it. Can't. Yeah. And if they say no, just punch them in the fucking head because you're a big dude. They'll listen to you. Yeah. Or they'll, you'll punch them in the head. So don't get punched in the head if Aaron comes up to you. And says, you're going to tell five people about foulmouthout.com by Friday. You better say yes. Yeah. You're going to do it now. You're going to do it now. <laughs> With your smartphone right now. Put it on, <laughs> Stand put it, right there. <laughs> put it on your Facebook. No, he means now. You got three more to go. No, now. If you're listening to the show, tell five people about foulmouthout.com right now on right. your Facebook. Um, some stuff that's coming up. On ExploreDE.com, they are doing some promotions throughout the state for different events that are going on. ExploreDE.com is a 24-7 channel that gives live and uh, pre-recorded programming 
for events that are going on throughout Delaware. Check it out, explorede.com. What else you got, Squig? I'm dried up. <laughs> what does that mean? I ain't got nothing. You got nothing? I ain't got nothing. nothing. Except Sports Zone's address. Sport Zone's address. 235 Stadium Street, Smyrna, Delaware. All right, well, the other thing I got to... <laughs> huh? Nothing. That is right. Hooking you up. 235 Stadium <laughs> Street. And um, all right, so let's go on one more song. What other song? Tell us. Let's set us up one more song, Stephen, for the new Awake at Last album, which they can find at the uh, go to their Facebook page and then follow the Bandcamp link. Uh, Five dollars, five songs. Promise and betrayal. Promise and betrayal. What's this song about? You also ask Vince. Uh, basically, the concept for this. We would ask Vince, but he yeah. didn't come. <laughs> it's, a, it's a concept album. So uh, basically, the album is about. Uh, an artist, and I'm assuming it's based off Vince, but uh, he kind of sells his soul to be, you know, a musician and whatnot. Falls in love. That's kind of what Precious is about. That's the one that's for free download. And you know, when he gets to the end of his term, he's kind of doing everything he can to stay. So that's kind of what the, the CD is based around. And I guess if you just listen to the lyrics, you'll kind of pick up. Well, let's take a listen. Thanks for checking out the Foul Mouth Owl Show. We will listen to you. Or you <laughs> I've been losing sleep. Catch you next time. Quick See you. Out. Pressure